Hello YouTube, well this is my setup, uh, this is not Virtual DJ, as you can see I'm using tablets and a bit of uh, basically a, um, a music player uh, app on each and uh, my trusty 102 Studio Master, Master Mixer, I've had this for 20 years now, it's great, does the job and uh, basically what I've done, I've got uh, a plinth here that's on a hinge as you can see it moves, right? Um, and the lever cases, I bought this one, I already had that one. I've put a hinge in there with a split pin. You can buy a hinge where the pin comes out. It's a door hinge. And pull that apart. Both of these come apart. So when you want to um, put more songs on or whatever. Um, and uh, they just sit on the plinth here. This folds down, obviously. And uh, you've got the headphone there, look. Headphone there. Uh, into the mixer and uh, it works really really well uh, I was a bit dubious when I first started doing this thinking headphone out of a tablet just ain't gonna work but um, it's actually really good and I've compared it to CD because the deck's been removed as you can see because uh, it's had it, had its day and apart from the bottom end obviously the frequency frequency response on the CD player is a bit better than what you got on a headphone but uh, you can uh, put a little bit of adjustment on the EQ on this, just a tiny bit. You don't want a lot, just a tiny bit. Use the EQ on the mixer. Don't really start banging up this on, on the levels because you'll get distortion. You won't hear it on the headphones. When you put it from the mixer, you will, and then you start adjusting this. You'll start adjusting that. And before you know it, it'll be all over the place. So this is why I've got this setup going before I do my do because this is going to be my first do using two tablets. And uh, that's all I can tell you, really. So, and just to show you, uh, they're both songs. And you can see the levels, look. Here on it. That's the left one. And that's the right one. I mean, quite frankly, they're pretty the same, aren't they? Obviously, the level, the volume on this on the headphone is all the way up. Um, and the important part about this is, uh, let me just play this one again. Hang on a minute. The important part about this is uh, you've got to, um, hang on, bear me a second. Hang on. Right. Yeah, important part about this is the level button, the input button. So you probably can't see that. Well, you probably can see that. But uh, basically, this is your input. So at the moment, it's on minus 10 dB, which gives it a good level there. And if I flick that, you see that the level disappears completely. Uh, so basically, high input stuff, well, it's high output stuff, isn't it? Because it's, it's, it's audio level, uh, like ProKit. But this isn't ProKit, is it? This is a household stuff. So you push the button in there. There you are. And that makes sure that the input is suitable and it matches perfectly um, so when I have my CD going it was on that obviously I haven't got the CD player now so I just push that there you go now I don't know the ins and outs and the intricacies of it levels you can talk about DB levels and plus three six nine twelve and all this but I always go for a benchmark zero because I always think that's kind of where you want to match levels and as you can see They're all pretty much the same, which I'm really, really pleased about. So there you go. This is my setup with my two tablets, headphone right, headphone left, into my mixer. Uh, of course, you've got your power as well, because that's uh, you need the power charges in the back for each one. Now, well, I will say one thing. This is really important. Try new separate chargers. There's a tendency to buy two USB chargers, plug it in the back, and run it off one. It messes these up. For some bizarre reason, when you do that, the same goes, we unplug it and it pauses and it plays. And it, so keep the separate charger with the specific tablet and put an adapter in the back. Don't use a joint one because it doesn't seem to like it when you're doing this sort of thing. That's what I found anyway. All right, I hope, hope you like my little um, demo of my kit. And uh, fingers crossed it'll be really, really good when I uh, go for my do at the weekend. All right. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers, bye.